Recently, many of you might have heard that the RT-PCR test for COVID infection is giving false negative results. Means the person is suffering from infection, showing all signs and symptoms of the infection, yet his RT-PCR test says that he is not suffering from any infection. Is the PCR test reliable? Should you stop going for PCRs? In this video, I am going to be discussing A. Why is this happening? That a COVID positive person is showing false negative PCR test. And B, if this is happening to you, your family member or anyone you know, what is it that you can do? And we are starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Taha Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Recently, I was talking with a friend of mine who has been suffering from COVID infection and he was having classical COVID symptoms like anosmia means complete loss of smell and agusia means complete loss of taste sensation. He said that he squeezed an entire lemon on his tongue and didn't feel a thing. Of course, there was fever and few other throat ailments as well. But the interesting thing that struck me was his RT-PCR test was negative and his doctor had advised him that the test might come again positive if tested after few days, after three to four days. So I began to wonder why in spite of showing all signs of COVID, his PCR test is negative. Now I have heard this on a number of occasions earlier as well, that a person is showing all symptoms of COVID, yet his RT-PCR test is negative. But hearing this from such a close friend really got me interested into the subject. I mean, what is the mystery behind this? Is it all about the money-making business? or the doctors have come up with some new startup which I am not a part of. So I started searching. The RT-PCR, which is the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction test, have been the most sought after test for COVID-19 infection since the beginning of pandemic in India. Many specialists consider it to be the most effective test to detect COVID-19 virus in human cells. It is like the gold standard test for COVID. Even though the RT-PCR test can detect the acute infection of coronavirus, it cannot tell whether a person has recovered from COVID-19 or if they had it in the past. It just says that you have coronavirus. Now, whether it is virulent or non-virulent, it doesn't say that. After the cases began increasing in the different parts of the country, the RT-PCR tests became the norm for checking the spread of infection and trace the infected, especially among the travelers. But recently, what is happening? One in every five person is showing false negative result. And sometimes even the second and the third test is failing to show the virus. It's worrying because the coronavirus is now fooling the RT-PCR tests. And it is very risky at the same time as the person might think that they have contracted some flu infection and might not isolate and not follow proper protocols and spread the infection around. So why are the tests failing? The number one reason for this is mutation. The virus has changed its look and behavior considerably since last year. And like we identify a person through his fingerprint or iris scan, the test detects the virus by identifying few parts of it. And these parts are called diagnostic targets. By September, the virus had already changed enough that essentially all the current COVID-19 diagnostic targets have undergone mutation, especially the UK variant which has altered its gene so much that it is altogether jumping the test completely. So you have to be very careful. The second reason that I could think of is that the PCR diagnostic test reagents were designed based on early clinical specimens. And these reagents are unable to detect the newly mutated virus. The RT-PCR kits were built much earlier and a lot of them have not been updated to the latest variants of COVID in the country and thus are showing false negative results. A lot of cities and testing facilities are still using the old kit because of shortage of the new kits. Thirdly, the virus load in your body may be very low and that might be the reason why it is not getting reflected in your test. Now, don't get confused. The virus load is sufficient to cause you the symptoms, but not sufficient enough to get detected in the test. So if you are having symptoms, then a negative test doesn't rule out the very high possibility that you have the infection and it is better to be safe than to be ignorant. Number four, the testing load in our country is so high that the testing quality is getting compromised. You must have heard in the news that a gardener in a hospital was sent to collect samples from the patients 
because there was simply no one available. The healthcare infrastructure in our country has fallen to bits and pieces that we are forced to use untrained professionals and even laymen for carrying out professional tasks. This leads to inappropriate samples and obviously these samples will give false negative results. Also, there has been issues of sample contamination where the sample did not reach the lab in its true virulence and have shown negative results. These are the top reasons that I believe to be causing false negative results in the tests. The important question is, if you are facing this, if you are having symptoms of COVID, especially symptoms emerging out of the new variants, and you are still testing negative, what should you do? First thing, if you have come in contact with anyone who has been tested positive, isolate yourself immediately. See if you are developing COVID symptoms. If you don't know, search online. Educate yourself so that you can easily detect and identify symptoms of COVID, especially the new symptoms that are getting displayed by the new virus variants. Secondly, inform everyone you know that you have started developing symptoms so that they can isolate themselves and follow precautions. A lot of people are hiding this and I don't know why. This is causing all the more spread of the virus. This is not something you should hide. Be vocal about this. I think a huge portion of the problem will get solved if everyone stops hiding this and starts getting vocal. Thirdly, keep an oximeter with you. This is a mandatory device that you must be having at this time. And check your oxygen levels at least twice a day. If someone has COVID, a pulse oximeter may help them keep a check over their health and to know if they need medical care. A normal healthy person has oxygen saturation level between 95 to 100%. There are certain situations where 90 to 95% oxygen saturation is also considered to be normal. But let's not go into that. For now, let us assume that 95 to 100 is normal and anything below 95 should be a concern. So if you see your oxygen saturation level going below 95 on two occasions, you need to consult a doctor. Fourth, if your oxygen saturation level is normal, your RT-PCR test is also negative, but the symptoms are still there. Repeat your RT-PCR test in the next three to four days. If it is again negative, then I would suggest you to go for a CT scan. Obviously, consult your doctor before going for a CT. Because in the new virus strain, the lung patches are getting visible in the first week itself as compared to the last virus strain where the lung patches were visible by the 8th or the 10th day. Additionally, you can also get few inflammatory tests done like the CRP, which gives an idea about what's going inside your body, whether there is any inflammatory reaction going on. So these were the things that I wanted to speak today in the video. I hope these things will be useful and come in handy if required. And like I said, the RT-PCR test is still the best test that we can go with. Repeat the test if required, look out for symptoms. And above all, maintain social distancing, wear masks whenever you step out in public and avoid congregations. Unless, of course, if you are a politician, then none of these apply. Let me know how you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.